today we will be staying at the Golden Lion Weatherspoons Hotel in Rochester. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. Wow, this is gorgeous 102. So wait, so where is 101? Ah, there's, there's a door. Ah, 101 is over there. So there's only two rooms. So hopefully it isn't going to be ah. that. So hopefully it isn't going to be quite noisy because there is the doorway here and then there's a fake thing here. Yeah, there's no room there, next to us. There is like a sitting area here. Which That's I nice. I think that we could use perhaps. Yeah. And there's information over here, isn't there, Paul? I think here are things for the local Oh, there's books area. to borrow as well, look. Ooh. Okay, so here is the thermostat um i think currently it's at 19 but i'm sure i can make it hotter or colder if i wish or is it this one <laughs> i don't know which one it is but in any event i'm sure i can manage and if anything i'll go downstairs to speak to the person downstairs so this is i believe a full size i don't think this is as big as a king size i think this is maybe less than a queen size it is kind of like a, a double bed i presume um so this is nice and bright and there are lights on either side um two sets of charging areas and i also see a usb port for marcus so that he could do his charging i think this is good the fact of it having a headboards so that you could do any reading or any computing online and then you could have easy access to the TV mounted against the wall. So this is the workstation. So then you have the menus. You have the menus for Wetherspoons and then you also have their nifty Wetherspoons news magazine which Marcus likes to read, right? Right. Um, so then here are the T's and C's, well not T's and C's, but here are when breakfast is served up until when check-in is, when check-out is, a no smoking policy, which the guy said was no smoking, the evacuation stuff, the duvets and pillows, Wi-Fi, which is very important, customer satisfaction well I hope that they want us to be happy so hopefully this would be of, of our satisfaction so yeah this is that um look they even <gasps> have two bottles of water from Brecken Carrick I think this is like a Tesco make right if I'm not mistaken or no it is, oh sorry <laughs> it's, it's private but it's used at Boots oh right because I thought that a Tesco has something similar to this, which I might be mistaken. So then they have, let's see if I can lift this up. Uh, so they have <gasps> Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate. They have plant-based, um, what is that? Like milk and stuff. Then they have like instant coffee. There's um, brown or white sugar and also sweetener. Uh, tea bags, hmm, decaf, wow. So they have regular and decaf, and then there are four portions of milk, which I'm sure Marcus will devour later on. Ah! This is something to wet our whistle. Walker's Stem Ginger Biscuits and Walker's Shortbread, which is a favorite of Marcus's, I believe. Look, here are some really big cups to 
have the teas and coffees and a nice glass, I believe. Don't want to break this because otherwise they'll charge us. Wow, this is a pretty nice setup. So there is um, open shower. I don't think that there is a door here, which I have noticed a lot in a few of the hotels that we have stayed at. So the water would just come down here. There isn't an uh, additional um, bit that sprays water out. And then there's that shower gel right there. Toilet is right here, and hopefully this is one that goes down slowly. Yeah, look, I find it really interesting how there are slow moving toilets because they don't really want to wake the world up because toilets are notoriously very loud. So it's good that these are pretty good with the sound, even with the toilet seat, which is a really, really good thing to help the person outside from getting their shut eye. This is the towel rack. So here are two large and two small ones. I believe one of them might be a um, hand towel. Oh, this is illusional because I thought it kind of went in more. <laughs> Because I think, no, because I kind of feel like there might have been more room than there actually is, but I think it's like an illusion. So th here's like a pretty good amount of space to have your toothbrush, your mouthwash, and things of that nature. Here's the liquid soap and vanity mirror. You look fine, buddy. Mwah. And let's test out the, can we, or can we close it? So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, oh, this is the shower mat, which is really good because we don't want to be slipping and sliding. So let's not forget to use this. I think having a hot towel rack is really, really helpful because Towels do get wet and I think it's always a good thing to keep them nice and dry and to have them heated up before and after you take a shower. Let's see how effective these blinds are. I think this will keep out a majority of the light. I'm not actually sure where we are looking out towards. I believe that might be on the high street or something because I do see some people out there in the distance from the Royal Mail Sorting Office or something, just right over here. Now we need somewhere to place our suitcase. So this is a suitcase rack and oh my god. Okay. So this is where the suitcases should go to be out of the way of other things. I am busy admiring the Rochester High Street by Fred Taylor and Jacinta Barham, age 15. I believe it's um, a picture of Rochester High Street. <laughs> Um, currently, and I think this is their interpretation. Right next to the picture is the ironing board with the iron and many hangers for you to hang up your coats and things of that nature. Oh, here are a couple of pillows for us to use while we are staying here and Hopefully that will be enough. Come back after the break where I will be reviewing how our stay fared out at the Golden Lion at Rochester at the Weatherspoons Hotel. Some letters seem to be missing. Why don't you subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube.
lovely hour time at the Weatherspoons Golden Lion Hotel has come to an end and we will be checking out within the hour. I must say that the breakfasts were pretty good, the one breakfast that we did have. We will have another breakfast later on. We did have two evening meals here. I think we had a mixed grill each. Marcus had the bigger one. And last night we had pizzas, both of us. Marcus had the mushroom and ham and I had the pepperoni pizza with onion rings and fries on the side. Now let's talk about the bed. Marcus had two good nights sleep from the bed and he thought that it was nice and sturdy. I found that it was a little bit cramped and a little bit smaller than I would have liked, but I think you don't have any choice in that. It was sturdy and the pillows were nice and comfy, which I really enjoyed. So those are two plus points, as well as these lights on the side, which were really good in the evening time right before we went to bed. I think that the lions on the shower glass were a really good touch. They have it on the top as well as on this bottom row. Okay, so here are some negative points about the shower. I think the water did um, come out onto the floor and I did have to use the standing towel to wipe off any excess water. I, we, it didn't necessarily intend to splash but i think that water splashes when you shower so i think it's helpful to have a shower door to keep all that extra water inside the shower we weren't sure whether they were going to be making up our room or not but luckily marcus did run into the housekeeper and then he said yes i would like to have the room serviced and the lady did make up the room and it was nice and made up when we got back in the evening time. Being part of a pub, you would expect some lingering noise to be flowing upwards from the bar downstairs. But we did have a particularly nasty incident last night in which two people, I'm not sure whether they were guests or not, and then they were sitting out side our room at the table with the two to three chairs and they were making a huge racket i think starting from like about 10 10 10 30 time and then it lasted for about one one and a half hours closer to one and a half hours marcus had to call the hotel reception i think he called this i think shortly around 11 o'clock and they were still outside 20 minutes later so then we weren't sure whether we were going to have a good night's rest or not. Marcus then went on to say okay if this does continue I'm going to go out there and confront them. I said that it wasn't a good idea because I'm not sure how volatile people are at this time because you do hear about incidents. So eventually, I think around half 11 or a little bit after, then the noise disappeared. But we weren't sure whether it was going to come back or not, which is one of the reasons why there was some anxiety. And I think that that kind of spoiled the rest of our stay at the hotel. So I think it would be better for the Golden Lion Hotel by Weatherspoons to not have that table outside the door because of the possibility of this happening to other paying customers. I don't really want to hear someone getting drunk or tipsy outside my room and then banging the door to go out to go to the toilet and making raucous without any care in the world. So I think if you do want happier clientele and customers, I would recommend removing that table and chairs so that you could give room 102 
a, a really good night's rest. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button if you found it enjoyable and likable. And we also enjoy or appreciate your likes. So hit the thumbs up button and then please leave any comments for us to improve upon our show. And until next time, we will see you later.